Welcome back. We're gonna. This is the motor out of the Mustang. It's uh, finally figured out what I'm gonna do to it or with it. It is going in that '81 Bullnose Dually Ford I have. That motor shot. It's got a 351 M in it now, so this one is quite a bit smaller. Probably more horsepower, but my plan is rip that old engine out, stuff this one in, and I got a complete turbo kit. So I'm going to build a turboed farm truck. These heads are off a different 302 I had. They're the E7s. They're actually real good heads. They flow nice. They, uh, they were just at the machine shop before the block got cracked. That engine also had a turbo. I think, I don't know why the block cracked, but it, it kept pushing water was the issue. And those are shaved, I think they're shaved 10 thousandths. So I'm going to rip these heads off, get the block cleaned up, start getting them mounted on, get the hot side of the turbo on, and then drag the truck in maybe tomorrow, start ripping that big boat anchor out that's in that thing so yeah remember all profits from my channel get donated and yeah go check out my brother's channel whiskey dents he's building a cool truck but let's get these heads ripped off i want to verify that it is 40 over that's what i was told 30 or 40 over but mostly i want to get them heads on i the truth See if I can get some coolant or something on my feet. Oh. Man. And these are 351 Windsor heads. I can tell because it's got, on the Windsors and the old ones in the 60s, they had extra bolt holes here for the intake. The one in my 69 wagon was the same way. But yeah, let's take a look at the block. Oh yeah, you can still see cross hatches in there. It is really new. Not seeing anywhere where it says 40 over or 30 over. I'll clean one of them up and see if I can find it. So yeah, it must be relatively new if you can still see the hone marks. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a stock board because usually they're stamped. If it's 40 over, 30 over, whatever, there'll be a stamp somewhere on the face of the piston. And I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Well, dang it. Oh well. Unless you can see it somewhere, I can't. Hmm. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, and I plan on running like five pounds of boost. I got a blow through carb. I think I got a top hat somewhere, I think. Yeah, I figure with five pounds of boost, it should make 350 horse. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. That'll be plenty. It's Upgrade from what I had before. Yeah, not 40 over, but a little side by side comparison of the heads that are going on to what was on there. It looks like the combustion chamber is smaller on these ones than these ones. So, that'll help with a little more compression. Actually, I probably want less compression if I'm turboing it, but I'm not running 20 pounds of boost, so that doesn't really matter. Yeah, go check out uh, Glenn over there at 1776 Garage. He's so close to getting his Mercedes fired up. I'm tuning in every episode he puts out, just waiting to hear that thing fire up and run. It's been starting and dying, so he's he's getting close. So, so yeah, I'm going to take the grinder with the wire wheel on it and clean up my mating surface. I do have some of them ARP 
head studs I'm going to put in this. And, uh, yeah, I got to get head, head gaskets tomorrow. Run up to O'Reilly's. Hopefully they got them. Should have called today to see if they had some. Yeah, I'll get this cleaned up and get some head studs put in it. So. Yeah, I haven't put a set of these in in a long time, but I don't know if you're... I think they say you're supposed to oil them. I think. I don't remember. This is the last set I put in 10 years ago. But I know you want to check and make sure that none of these bolt holes go into a water jacket. Because if they go into a water jacket, you got to put um, silicone on your threads. Otherwise, you'll get a leak. How do you know if they go into a water jacket? Oh, you just take a positive screwdriver. Let's stick it down inside there and see if it if it goes all the way in it's goes into a water jacket or oil passage I guess I don't know maybe they do but usually they're water jackets so yeah yes take your old trusty positive and or a small negative it doesn't matter yeah. so either one positive either one. or negative positive screwdriver or negative. Yeah, go check out uh, Casey over at High Octane Garage. That's Octane spelled with a K. He's got to be different. So, yeah. not sure. Not sure if it was a misprint when he started started his YouTube channel or what, but he decided to run with it. He's actually working on SN95 Mustang with a Turbo LS. Makes a little bit of horsepower, 275 or something. So it should be it should be pretty quick. It's not gonna be as fast as this old gem when I'm done. Whew, we're talking some muscle. I'm gonna see if it'll just engulf those old bias plies it's got on the back. If I remember correctly, you're not supposed to tighten these all the way down. It doesn't really sound like you know what you're doing. It doesn't. I'm yeah. winging it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'll look at the instructions before I put the heads on, but I think maybe you snug them down and then back them off a little bit. And then that way when you give it its final torque, I don't know. I'll check. Don't listen to what I'm saying. I'm an idiot. Yeah, this way with the head studs, I can pour all the boost to it. All six pounds, I'm talking. It'll probably just be on wastegated the whole time. And it's a four-speed truck, so you're not really going to enjoy the boost in first, second. You might in third and fourth, or in, for sure in fourth, but maybe in third. Unless you short shift it. Yeah, I bought that turbo kit for my Mustang a long time ago, and I never got around to using it. I actually had it on the car, and then I wanted to drive the car, so I tore it all back off, and been without a turbo ever since. Do you know how to put a turbo kit on? No. That's fair. <laughs> I've owned cars with turbos, and trucks with turbos. But I've never done the whole install start to finish, so. Okay. Hey, we're gonna learn together. Excellent. Actually, have you ever done one? No, no, I oh. have not. Of course, I'm not attempting to either. Well, in order to learn, you gotta do it. I have never heard that saying. <laughs> How else are you gonna learn? You have someone teach you. Yeah, I'd rather learn how to do it myself than have somebody teach me. Casey over at High Octane, he, he put a turbo on a car. He knows what he's doing. 
Well, maybe you should watch his video it's first. It's pretty simple. You put the manifolds on or the headers. You don't even know what? Well, they're headers. Well, you can run turbo with manifolds. It don't matter. Oh, okay. You put your headers on. You connect your hot side to the turbo. And then you hook your intercooler up. And then you form it into the carburetor. Easy peasy. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's super easy if you're not running fuel injection and triple bar maps and all that other stuff. This is just set it at six pounds and have fun. I don't know why you're busting my chops. I was just wondering. I've never seen you put a turbo on anything. I put turbos on lots of stuff. Put turbo on my one of my Jettas. That you maybe replaced re one. Remove a turbo and put another turbo. Right. On You know, some days you're just negative. I'm not negative. I was just curious. Picking on me. If I want to get picked on, I go to work. Who else should we mention? Oh, Tanner Rebuilds. He's got that Starliner. I think that's what it's called. Basically like a early generation galaxy, I think. 15, 16 year old kid. Out there just learning. By doing. Yeah. That's, well, that's how you do it. That's how I've always learned. But I don't know how to do something. I tear into it and figure out how it works and put it back together. Oh. Killing me, Smalls. I'm glad you're smiling. Aren't you? So Whiskey Dance texted me earlier. He's like, what do you call a man with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. <laughs> Cheesy dad joke. I got another one. It's in my phone. I got to look it up, though. I can't remember what it was. I told it to you. You remember? Mm -mm. Any of it? Yeah. Oh. Where do you take somebody that has been severely injured in a game of peekaboo? You take them to the ICU. <laughs> All right, enough shenanigans. Um, well, I'm at a standstill now. I'm gonna go throw the other other side head studs on, and we'll be out filming tomorrow. So you guys will see me in like 0 0.2 seconds, but it'll be tomorrow. Well, it is the same night. Forgot I had another frost plug to put in. Lock plug. Dirt clean out plug. This is what I use. I just find a socket that's almost the right size and... Tap it in about flush with the taper part of the block once it starts going in. You call it good. So I already got the other side done, so yeah, now I don't have to worry about that. I do have to put swap oil pans because the other oil pan I got is drilled for the turbo drain. So I'm just going to swap pans, so I might as well pick up a gasket for that too. Yeah. And then this engine will pretty much be resealed because even though it is almost brand new, it's sat for a long time. So I'm going to take care of it now before it becomes a problem later. I'm going to pull the water pump off just to see what direction it spins, see if I can run belts or if I have to get a different water pump for it. I must have did that. So how many bolts do you think we're going to break pulling this off? I don't know. Uh, hopefully none, but... Why, my luck. So far, so good. And then it switches size on me. And I think you're less likely to bust a bolt if you're using an impact.
there's still water in there. Ow. I did hurt my wrist the other day, so I've taken it easy. But I'll grab a bigger ratchet. Longer ratchet. You want me to do it? Oh dear. I might be pulling a timing cover off too. Dang it. Uh, I know if that one breaks, it's probably gonna leak. But it does have that one right there. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this one came out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Should I just hit it with the big impact? See if it mm. breaks it off? Yeah. Let's make more work for myself. I'm going to break that off. I got my impact on two at the moment. Hopefully it'll jar it loose. Before I give it all the oogadoogas. Uh oh. I think it's coming. Look at that. Saved it. Nice. That put a smile on my face. Because, yeah, they'll either, when they're through this aluminum, they'll corrode and they'll stick to that. So, yeah. Got lucky with that one. Watch, I'll break one of these off. <laughs> you guys having fun yet? I know I am. Getting my gloves all full of water. Yeah, that would have eventually leaked anyway. So, yeah, glad I did that. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. So how do you tell? So if it spins this way, is it moving water? Or is it moving water that way? You think it'd be this way, right? No, I would think it'd be the other. This way? That's... No, yeah, that way. This way. That's the way the paddles go. Yeah. So this was the right water pump. Right direction. Okay. Now I got a number to go off of. But yeah, that would have leaked eventually. This cause problems later on. Yeah, that gas is so brittle. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> they said it was 40 over with a cam, so I'm starting to think it's not 40 over and it doesn't have a cam. So, but you give it a boost, it'll be happy. So now I'm done for tonight. So get out of here, don't come back. Well, no, we can come back. Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, a little bit of Jameson. Oh, you like Irish whiskey and you never tried Jameson. Try some of this. So I've been busy today. I got the 351M boat anchor out along with the four speed. That's on the ground too. But yeah, let's take a stroll around this thing. This truck's an 82, and it is actually in really nice shape for being a, a Minnesota truck. I think it came from southern Minnesota. Not quite sure what they used it for, but... Like, this is the worst of the rust. And then on that passenger fender, it's got a little bit, but... Yeah, the floorboards underneath, absolutely beautiful. And there's some paint chipping on the fiberglass dually fenders, but... That could be addressed really easy. But no, it was a beautiful blue before it, you know, 
got sun faded. I think this door's been replaced because it doesn't match. It actually looks like it's been painted, and it looks like this rocker's been painted too. I don't know. It's. I figure I'd jack it up, give you a preview of what it's look, gonna look like when I do a six-pound boost launch. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to lower the front end a little bit because that engine is way lighter than that thing that'll sink the Titanic if it's in it. A little darker on this side. Been working on the ceiling. I'm gonna get some more lights put up, so it's coming. Yeah, this side it's got surface rust and a little bit starting there, but it's still pretty solid. That's just me chipping off. But yeah. Well, it's. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do with this thing? What do you think I should do with it? Um. Well, I think this could be a good raffle giveaway truck. I think it should be too. Because I know there's no hidden rust in this thing. Right. You've been all underneath it all day. Yeah. No, the brake lines are good. And yeah, I don't know if this thing really seen salt at all. Like this rust, it could be, that could be just from a little bit of dirt stuck in there at some point. But no, she's, uh, she's beautiful. Yeah, the box is still full of ice since it's got that bed liner in there to hold water. So hopefully I get this done before it all melts and ends up on my floor. But we'll see. My gasket kit won't be here until Tuesday. So putting the engine back together is at a standstill. But as soon as that stuff shows up, I'm going to pound that out real quick and get this thing sitting in there for mock-up. And hopefully I don't have to move any motor mounts or... The mounts on the frame. Hopefully everything works. Because these trucks came with a 302, so I might have to try to find some different motor mounts themselves. But we'll reverse them. Gonna have to do something. Hopefully they hopefully they go right in, but should be able to put the power steering pump right on it and the alternator will go right on it. And well, this is an air conditioned truck with cruise control, so it's Fancy back in '82. Yeah. So, it's that 40, 42 year old truck, and it's yeah. hopefully it just boils them bias plays. I think they're bias plays. They actually, might be radials. Yeah, Wildcats up front. They're old. You can see the weather checking. Probably find a new set. So I think they're 16 fives. Another Wildcats on the back, so it's got a match set of tires. Yeah, I think they're an oddball size. 235, 85, 16 fives, I think. Yeah, I won't be able to find them now. Yep. Oh, 8.75 R16 five. Huh. Oh yeah, 235.85 is what it is, basically. But I know I got some rear wheels off my Dodge that might fit on here for the back. Find a set for the front. Then it will just have regular 16s instead of 16 fives. But we'll see. So, yeah. After the stuff shows up for the engine, we'll get back on this project. So, until then... We'll see you later. So we're back at it on the DWR here. And that's not an airport, right? Is that what it's called? No, it's DFR. DRW, that's what it is. Dual rear wheels. Yeah. Uh, I'm at a standstill. I had to wait a couple days for the gaskets. But I got the heads on, torqued down, intakes torqued. I swapped oil pan, so now I got a drain down there for the turbo. And I was setting it in here. These motor mounts aren't going to work. So 
called up O'Reilly's and they said we'll have a set here in the morning. So tomorrow after work I'll lift the motor back up and swap motor mounts. The transmission cross member, it looks like it will work perfectly with this transmission. So then I just got to shorten the drive shaft some and made it to the back of the new transmission. I missed it. The garage is warm enough to melt the ice in the back of the truck, which must have mosquito larvae in it because we have mosquitoes in the shop. Oh, there's one. There's another one over there. <sighs> Can't ever get away from them little things. <laughs> so I thought I had the transmission drained when I had it all jacked up. I dropped some go-go juice on the floor. I don't know if it's appropriate to call it tranny fluid anymore, so I'll just call it go-go juice from now on. But yeah, I got turbo kit pulled out, a part of it. Oh. That is thing's heavy. I'm pretty sure I'll have enough room. If not, I might have to trim this plastic inner fender well a little bit. But yeah, this is the On3 Performance Turbo Kit for a 89 to 93 Fox body, or maybe 86, one of them, whatever they are. So I have to modify it quite a bit. It's gonna be quite a bit different, but I got lots of room in here to do stuff, which is, you know, these 302s, they're small, but they pack a punch. So not quite sure where I'm gonna hang the intercooler yet. I guess I'll figure that out after I get the radiator in. But let's see if I Yeah, we'll have to get modified a little bit down here, but don't drop it. Don't drop it. Hang out there for a second. Good little turbo. I don't remember the size of the turbo, but it's going to work. And then I got the downpipe with it, too. And I think I'll be able to tie into the existing exhaust with that downpipe. And it's got like a four foot long truck muffler on this thing, so. You'll hear the whistle, but you won't hear the straight pipe noise. So it's going to be a, a dually sweep sleeper. So, so yeah, it's getting exciting. So, that's about all I got for this week. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for watching till the end. Glenn, I know you're still here. So Yeah, go check out Whiskey Dents, High Octane Garage, Tanner Rebuilds. 1776 garage and one of my favorites half moon customs and fellers are from the south they're 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 jokers they like to have fun when they're working on their stuff so i made the plan i worked the plan i have to adjust the plan but we're making progress we're getting stuff done so hopefully by next uh, episode i will be trying to fry a set of tires with six pounds of boost so if that doesn't work, then I'll turn it up to 10. So, and if I grenade this engine having to run 10 pounds of boost to get a, do a burnout, I guess I will. So, All right, thanks again. Like, subscribe, comment. Have a good weekend. For those that uh, get to have Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, me not included yet, but person behind the camera, three-day weekends must be nice all right have a good night see you later for those of you that are still hanging out i got a little bit of this clear coat left over from the 66 i just want to hit this fender quick and see if uh see if it'll shine like that again It looks like when it dries, but I might buff the whole thing and see what happens with it, or might just shoot this all over it just to protect it, keep it from getting any worse. But now this is a truck is in really nice shape for being what I say 42 years old. Yeah, 42 years old. So it's in better shape than I am. <laughs> uh, I had a joke, but now I forgot it. Oh, there's a difference between that. 
Alligator and a crocodile. One will see you later. The other one is after a while. A little taggy, but... <laughs> All right, now I'm done for the night. See you later.